Refugees who escaped the Taliban and settled here in Oklahoma City are facing some new problems. Now, they were welcomed here by the governor and others, but they've been assaulted and now some having trouble finding affordable places to live. News Force Caitlin Ogle joins us with details. Caitlin. Well, we know of multiple cases where Afghan refugees have been attacked and harassed. In one case, the attack happened in the apartment community where they live. But for some, finding somewhere else to go, that's also affordable housing that has become a roadblock. We are friendly people. We are not that bad. Lots of Americans think that Afghans are terrorists. An Afghan refugee who was a pilot in the Afghan Air Force says it's still not safe to show his face on camera. In Afghanistan, my life was in danger, but even though if I go back to Afghanistan, so I have to fly for Taliban. He's just one of a thousand refugees here in the metro. He's now working as a translator. I can go back to my career and I will start from scratch, but still I will fly. He says this new life hasn't been easy. Same for the other refugees who have been victims of crimes. There was a family, their young son, there were four or five people and they grabbed him and they beat him and he showed me his, he had like swollen eye and it was very bad. And a couple of weeks ago, OKC police were called when a brick was thrown through a refugee family's window during Ramadan. According to the police report, around six teens then, quote, pushed open his front door and punched the father and other members of the group. Patrick Raglow with Catholic Charities of OKC says refugees are also facing affordable housing problems. Many had high paying jobs to support their large families back home. Sustaining a family of 11 on one income at $15 an hour is, is, is a hard problem to solve. Raglow says the families were using federal COVID-19 dollars to help pay for rent for 18 months. For many, that money has run out. Now, Catholic charities have launched Operation Move Out to find them a safe and affordable place to live. We've also had difficulty with some of the management of responsiveness for air conditioning repairs, for sewage repairs, etc. If any of the listeners out there are apartment complex owners and want to help us out, we'd be delighted to take that call. And we should add that Catholic Charities was able to immediately move the family out after they were assaulted. And Catholic Charities, um, they've also been a, supporting a house bill that gives tenants in low quality housing more rights. It also prevents landlords from retaliating against their tenants.